Hey guys, got some good news for the six of you. No, maybe eight. We got a Subaru, but not just any Subaru. Well, it is just some any Subaru now, but it's going racing when I'm done, hopefully. Anyways, this is it. It is an 06, 2.5 single overhead cam. Well, there's the single overhead cam. Now it came uh, with a little bit of weight reduction, a free dent or couple. And check this out, a racing hatch. A nice red racing hatch, a hacked up exhaust. Which is kind of a plus, half the work is done. Still gonna do an a axle back, most likely. The mid pipe is two and a half, and the rest is two and a quarter. Suspension is decent, actually. It's got some rust issues here and there. Took off the front subframe. This is going for sandblasting and uh, coating of some kind. And here's the engine. So that's the single overhead cam. You can tell it only has single cams on each side. Now, why I took this out? Well, because it was it was leaking quite badly. You can see all this oil. You can actually see still a little droplet here it was so bad that it was actually leaking on the exhaust manifold you can see here and smoking very very badly this is probably from spillage over the years now this is not the original engine on this subaru this thing has 170,000 miles on it this this engine supposedly has about 70 but uh, judging you know once i Took it out i could really take a closer look you know a really close close look i have noticed that the head gasket needs to be replaced this is a coolant leak and this is an oil leak same situation on the other side and my dog anyway so yeah and we got a check engine light on for code P0028, which is this variable intake thing, solenoid, this guy here. And now this one is for the passenger side. You can see it's got four bolts. Easy to take out, take it out. You most likely, well, I don't know what I'm going to do now uh, about it. Well, this one's good. The code is for the driver's side. To get to this one, the timing needs to come off. You can tell the, the two 10 mil bolts are hiding behind the, the back cover. So all this needs to go. I am gonna replace this sending unit oil pressure switch. You can see a little, little bit of oil buildup. I had one of these uh, leak before, through, like inside, through. So just, they're cheap. The main reason why this, was, this is out because of that oil leak and at, at first, you could only kind of tell that it's leaking from the oil or the valve cover gasket. But, you know, once it's out, you can really look at it and find, always find more issues. You can see that I actually blocked a few holes, like for this brake booster vacuum line, for the intake manifold throttle body here for the power steering pump both in and out and uh, what else oh yeah and the fuel lines evap and or return whatever this is and uh, your feed most likely plugged up all these holes just to get, get it ready for cleaning before I take it apart you know I'd rather work on a clean engine than a dirty engine for obvious reasons all right guys check this out like new. So 
heads need to come off. Got to drive them to the machine shop. They're going to deck them. The block, we're going to check for if it's level with a straight edge. So I may not need to, I hope I won't need to send the block out for decking. So I hope I won't have to. Seriously, man, my dogs. Jeez. All right. So I hope I won't have to send out the block for decking. So I'm going to take as little off as possible to get the heads out. And I will have to completely strip the heads off of everything, valves, everything. So, as of now, intake manifold, this, uh, I guess, this EGR pipe, all these, everything that's on the head, timing needs to come off, harmonic balancer, exhaust manifold, power steering pump, or maybe not, Actually, is it? No, it's. Is it attached to the head? Uh, let's see. Is it. Where's the head? Where does it end? And here. No, we're good. Okay. So this guy can stay for now. We'll see. Once all that's stripped, before I take the heads off, I'm going to do a leak down test with this tool here. This way. Once the timing is off, all the valves will be closed. I won't have to do top dead center and whatnot. It'll just be easier. With the leak down test, I'm going to know, you know, get info on if the valves are seating properly or not. And we'll go from there because I need to take them off anyway. So if they're bad, I'm going to have to relap most likely the exhaust valves.
that took about not too long. So, belt is off, which means all the valves are closed. Uh, I have the intake ports open and the exhaust. So let me take the exhaust manifold off. Ideally, the oil pan should be off too, but kind of lazy. We'll do it later. I'm probably gonna do it just to reseal it. Maybe not, we'll see. Anyways, I need air. Compressed air, that is. I'm gonna start with numero uno. And let the air come in. Come on, All right, there we go. Which way this way? There we go. Now you wanna get it to 100 PSI on the left gauge. And we're watching this gauge, can you see this? We are right on the edge of the green and the, uh, the yellow, which means, well, the least amount, I call this 11%, which is good, but I do hear air escaping. Okay, so it's not the intake. I do hear some noise from number, number one, from uh, this intake here. But not that much. Right, let me flip this over. Can you hear that? So with, this means the exhaust valve is not sealing properly all the way, which is, it's normal. The exhaust valve, you know, gets his ass kicked the most. And I already seen it through here. It is, it's actually not that bad. So lapping job shouldn't take long. Okay. Moving on to number three. Remember one, two, three, four. Exactly the same. A little bit here, mostly the exhaust valve. The compression test was very good actually. It was 170 something uh, on cylinder number one, and everything else was like 170 ish, you know, almost, almost there, 168. So very close to each other. No worries there, I'm not even worried about the pistons or the rings. And I am gonna, we are gonna take a closer look of the cylinder walls. Look if there's any scratches, cause the heads will be off obviously. See if the cross hatch is still there. And this thing needs to get under, on the racetrack as soon as possible. All right, that's a lot. I'm sure you hear that. Is that even close? Where's my flashlight? This exhaust valve, they're both open. What is going on over here? Okay, so this actually moved from the pressure from the other one and three test. So right now the pistons are about halfway-ish or so. So I'm going to try and close these up. Okay, now they're closed. Now oh, the intake ones are open.
All right, I'm gonna call that a successful test. Move down to number four. Here's my flashlight. Or not, maybe you, you can't do a proper leak down test. I mean, we could, there's another way. Can't really close all the intakes, exhaust and intake at the same time. All right, time for the left head. It's fixed. All right, taking the head off. All right, so now you can't go and just take these bolts off any way you want, you gotta do it in order. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Just a cross pattern, all right? All right, so you can see, can you see how it's all dark right over here? All right, but uh, like expected, this crosshatch, come on now, I'm trying to turn this with hand, by hand. This cylinder, well, it's a little bit worn here. And I have tiny, tiny scratches, but it actually looks pretty good. I'm going to get you in here. Are you going to see this? There we go. So you can see the cross hatching. And over here, it's a little bit shiny. Oh, right there. See that right in the middle of your screen. It's a little bit shiny. But I can still see the cross hatching there, too and uh, just a few vertical lines over here and one here that's it can't even feel these lines Let's check this guy out kind of the same deal a little vertical single line here and kind of multiple together right over here but i can see a lot of the cross hatching this is good. All right.